<laughs> Hi guys. Hey everyone. Hey everybody. Okay, so we're just gonna do a quicker, like a quicker live than usual today. Just to mostly answer some questions, but I have one thing that I want to say. Um, we'll wait for a few more people to get. Hello on. from London. Hello from Canada. Wow. Hi guys. Hi. Okay. So, first, I want to say that anything, like, anything of this whole situation is stuff that I want to say and stuff that I wanted to talk about. Like, nobody is forcing me or pressuring me to do anything that I don't want to do. Like, it's all completely 100% my decision. My mom and I, we talk about everything, mm -hmm. and we discuss everything, and she always tells me, no matter what, that it's my decision and that I can choose if we do anything that we say or whatever mm -hmm. we say, whatever we do. And so just to kind of clear that up, because there has been a lot of questions about that, um, my mom does speak more on, like, kind of the legal things because she's an adult and she knows more of that than I do. Mm -hmm. um, but... I'm saying we're doing all of this because I want to tell my story, get it out there, and share. Yes. So, yeah, that's... for sure. I saw somebody said hi from Hawaii. That's amazing. Are you thinking about suing them? We do have a lawyer. And also, guys, I think it's like this. I think it's kind of strange and like hi hypocritical. Is that the word? Yes. Um, like that right now jojo on like i think it was some like dance moms reunion or something like shaming maddie and mackenzie ziegler for you know or, and nia and nia for like deleting stuff talk well, for or, not coming yeah. on the reunion oh for not coming on the reunion or like um not talking about dance moms and she said like they're erasing their past but you want to know what just happened all of the videos songs uh pictures Articles were all re erased about X on about G -Pop, X on the G -Pop original with the original group or anything that had me, Bella, Kinley, or Kaya in it. Mm -hmm. So you want to say that they're being crazy for not coming on the reunion and erasing their past, but you're the one who's erasing everything about us and just trying to make it seem like. We were never in the group at all. Like, for somebody coming, just say they just found the group mm -hmm. and they don't follow any of the old members, they would never know because they've just completely erased everything. Like, deleting a whole album that we all worked hard on. Like, we spent so many hours, so many, like, blood, sweat, and tears on all of that stuff. And then for it to just all be released, or not released, but erased, is just kind of crazy. And yeah, it's so they don't have to pay royalties. Right? Yeah, that is right. They don't want to. Because. Well, it, not that they do pay them royalties. And they not, don't pay us royalties and they never did. But they're did. required to. But, and I'm sure that they're erasing all of that, trying to erase any evidence of, you know, yeah. their. But the thing is, everybody's got the screenshots doing. and got the things. So it's just, that's kind of crazy to me how, Yeah. Okay, somebody's saying that we were complaining about them using your pictures and now you're complaining about taking it down. Okay, that's, that's not, that's not, we're complaining about the pictures thing is after I was out of the group and they were selling merch with my face on it still. Without my permission, I was out of my contracts. They should not be able to sell my face without my permission and also they're not paying me. Another thing is all of the hard work on the music videos, the songs, all of the YouTube videos, the pictures. I know we didn't like doing the YouTube videos, but we still worked hard on them. And for all of that stuff to be erased, that's all of our hard work. And now that's something that maybe I know it was sometimes, well, yeah, most of the time a bad experience. But like, what if I wanted to go back and look on it whenever I was older? You know, it was still something that I experienced and... Obviously, I don't want to completely erase it from my life like they just did. So it's completely different whenever they're using my image without my permission, like legally not be like they should not be able to legally do that other. So it's different than the videos when I was still in the group. Like that's the difference. Mm -hmm. So. No, it's not hailing here, but it's supposed to be a thunderstorm. 
And also, guys, let me, let me... all of the fake accounts. Uh, sorry, I'm like I'm like talking a lot, but like the fake accounts that are on here on my live just to say stuff like. you're not you're not helping your case here and we know who you are like we're here to tell our story i'm here to like speak up for myself i'm gonna defend myself i'm gonna defend my mom if we know what's right and we know what's happening is wrong and yeah like we're gonna and you know really all the c was had to do was just be like you know what leah here we we want to make sure that you get compensated for your work and we want to make sure that, you know, you were a founding member of this group. You put two years of hard work into this group. Here's the money that we owe you. We wish you well. And we would wish them well and, you know, just be like. It's over. Like, yeah. But move on. And honestly, I want to move on so bad with my life. And I am doing that. I have other stuff going for my career. I'm about to go do a bunch of events. I have music coming out. Like, I'm in the running for stuff. But my story needs to be heard my story needs to be told so other people don't get sucked into it and so that you know people can really see that stuff like this actually happens and it affects kids like i started this process whenever i was 12 or 13 years old and i am almost 17 now but like how many years like that's my whole teenage life mm -hmm. and it was all put into this like i I, and that's what I chose to do. I chose to, you know, put myself out there and want to be a part of this group and want to be, you know, do everything I can for my career because that's like what I want to do with my life, sing, act, dance. But, you know, in the long run, like what, I don't know, I'm just rambling, but like. <laughs> but, you know, you, you did put a long a lot of years and a lot yeah. of time into the group and it's just hypocritical of jojo to say to accuse nia and maddie and mckenzie of erasing their past by not you know coming on the and reunion then the next day you were you erase everything of all of the old members that were in your group yeah it's just kind of gross exactly like um you know and, and so, yes, and we want, it says you don't want to support the CEOs, but you love Tiny T and, and uh, the that, other girls. Yeah, love them. Great. Support like, them. This has nothing to do with the girls, no matter. All of the girls are complete, like, they have nothing to do with this. This is strictly, like, JoJo and Jessalyn, who didn't have good management of this group and treated us badly. But, you know, go support the girls individually. We wish them all the best. Like, we wish them complete success and that they do everything like that they want to do in their lives and like everything but yeah. you know how do you know jojo's erasing stuff guys they're, if you go look on the youtube all of our music is gone like with the old members all yeah. of our music is gone all of the posts all of the tiktoks all of the youtubes like they're all gone with all of the old members yeah. and also like <laughs> Yeah. Somebody asked me how I was feeling. Um, you can tell. I, I haven't been, like, feeling that great. Um, but I go to the doctor Monday afternoon. Um, so, hopefully, I'll get some more progress. Mm -hmm. um, from there, uh, just yeah. b bad headaches all the time. And, guys, for my mom, the GoFundMe is still going. Um, so, if anybody wants to... <laughs> Girl, that's such a fake account. <laughs> Which one? That one. Like, we know you're a fake account. Mm. But, oops. But, yes, guys, um, my mom has a doctor's appointment on Monday to try and um, move forward in the process of everything and trying to get more tests done to see how severe it actually is. And she has been having, like, some headaches and stuff. But yeah. um, she's pushing through. She yeah. got this, Angie. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the GoFundMe is still up if you guys want to help out. But if you have any speculation or anything like that, just don't. Just don't. Please don't. don't I don't. Don't. You know, like, um, please don't feel obligated to donate anybody. And um, please don't. If you have any misgivings about, you know, if you think I'm being truthful or whatever, please do not donate. Yeah. Um, how do Kaya, Kinley, and Bella feel about the album being donated? I don't know. Deleted? I don't know. We haven't talked about that, no. actually. But personally, for me, I just feel like it's 
it's like uh, we spend so mu so much hard work and long hours on all of that stuff. I don't think it should just be erased, even though you know it wasn't the best experience. Like I, I don't think it should have been taken down. But not Cece getting mad for. I I don't want to talk about the moms or the girls. I didn't watch Cece's live. Leah didn't watch it, and I just think it's better that way because it's just better that way. Um. Somebody asked where the GoFundMe is. If you go to the link tree in Leah's Instagram bio, it's it's in there. But again, please don't feel obligated, anybody. Do you think JoJo will ever come forward and say, no. no. I think that they're, they have way too much pride for that. I don't think yeah. they're going to. If they were good people, they would have done it. They would have already right done by, it a long time Leah. ago. Like, um, we are, consi I have been approached, and Leah, I don't even know if, if we've talked about it, but. Um, we're probably, we may be, we're considering possibly writing a book about her experience and That's cool. then, I didn't know that yet. Yeah, <laughs> and then we do have, um, again, the do a documentary is being talked about. Um, and these are all just early things. So yeah, they could happen or could not, but, yeah. um, we're seriously considering some, some because we other just, things. This is like, in the long run, this is something that happens way too often, I think. And it's like bad management and mistreating like young kids who spend so much time and so much hard work on things. And like, I just think that they should be held accountable for it. Like, some people are saying they would absolutely read that book. <laughs> and I just want to make sure that, you know, JoJo's causing all this controversy over her tattoos and her new explicit music and blah, 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 and blah, And I think it's to distract from what's actually happening. And so I just want to make sure, and Lee and I are going to make sure that people don't forget what happened. And exactly. people don't forget... Um, you know, what happened to Leah and Kaya and Kinley and Bella, and I'm not going to speak for the girls still in the group, but, you know, people need to understand um, yeah. that, 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 and Jess and JoJo need to understand that this is just not going to go away, that we're not going to give up, that we're not going to let it go. And I'm going to keep pushing. Yeah. And, and they're the ones that said, oh, nobody can actually get canceled. Um, everything just goes away. No, we're not going to let it go away. Like, no matter, I hope that they see this. We are not going to let it go away. I'm going to continue to speak up. I'm going to continue to tell my story. I'm going to continue to share stuff because I want other people to know about it. Like, I don't want people to just think that it's just nothing. Like, it needs to be heard. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah. We mm -hmm. can answer your guys' questions now. <laughs> Thank you for the support, everybody. Yeah. Okay. There's somebody said, it's me. Hi, it's me, Michaela. <laughs> Hi. Have you ever thought of going on different TV shows? Okay, so I have been on my first TV show that I was ever on was called Dancing Queen on Netflix. And that was um, with my dance studio and my famous drag queen teacher, Justin mm -hmm. Johnson. And so that was a good experience. And then I was on AGT with that group, Beyond Belief. And then season 16. Season 16 and then 17 with XOMG Pop. Um, yes, I would always love to go on other TV shows. You know, I do auditions, you know. Um, I would love to go. I want to do more acting and stuff like that, you know. Um, so yes, I would love mm -hmm. to do more stuff like that. Was your contract different than the other girls since you're allowed to talk about it? Um, I'm just the only, we're the only ones that didn't sign an NDA. So uh, that's why we are able to speak out. The other people did, so we can't really speak for them and they can't right now. Yes, she still does cameo, cameo, cameo. and no, Jess and JoJo did not apologize, and an apology to Leah would go a long way for the way that they handled things. An apology would go a long way to all of us moving yeah. past this and moving forward. An NDA is a non-disclosure agreement, mm -hmm. so it's basically where you can't talk about anything. 
Mm-hmm. NDA, some last forever, some just last a certain amount yeah, of time. Yeah, and that's not really our place. We don't really yeah, know. I don't know. Somebody ke- keeps asking, what mascara do you have on today? Oh, I'm wearing the... Um, Is it the Tower 28? No, well, I am wearing the Tower 28 mascara, like, but also I'm wearing the... Show both of them. Got my whole makeup back here, guys. Okay, so I'm wearing this one. Where did it go? Oh, it's in my bag, but I'm wearing the Sky High mascara in waterproof, and then I'm wearing the Tower 28 black mascara. Okay. Um, okay. Can you say what? I, we can't say what we made can't Kenley speak for and anybody Bella. Else. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll look at some of these questions. Um. What's your future project, a song? Okay, so I, you guys know this. I have music. I'm still working on it. It will be coming out, guys, this year. So stay tuned for that. I'm about to go to L.A. next week, actually, for the Glam Seat Gala. Mm-hmm. And so I'm modeling in that. And I have a lot of influencer friends. And we're going to film together and, like, have so much fun. And then I'm also going to another event in California. It's for Teen Beat Media. And so I'm going to that as well. And then, yes, hopefully I get to do more projects, get into more acting and stuff like that. What's more your, singing, dancing. What's your favorite costume you had? Um, I thought it was your tour costume. Yeah, the one like with all the butterflies on it was my favorite. The tour costume. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hate that Seabos will get off your future music. Yeah. Well, if they've taken all the music down, I don't guess they're going to make any money off of it anymore. Either. No, she's talking about the oh, lifetime oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are still trying to figure all of that out, if there's any way to get out of that, Mm -hmm. Um, but we will see. Well, they're not getting any money from us until they pay Leah what they owe her, so. Yeah, and it's like, we'll fight until. (laughs) Yeah. Can we get a fit check right now? Do you want to show them? Yes, guys, my outfit's so cute right now. Okay, so this is my outfit right now. I'm feeling very preppy today. This top, I think I got it from, like, Sheen or something. My skirt is gold hinge. It's the super cute light pink one. I got it from Deer in a Prep because I actually just got back from filming from Deer in a Prep. And then this is my necklace. It's from, this one is from this cute little business. It's called Ella Rose Jewelry. My necklace is every jewels, earrings, every jewels. So, yeah, that's the cute little fit for today. But, yeah, a little brain break. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll answer a few more questions and then we'll head off, but um, I still do I still do have a lot of my costumes, but I do not have my original jacket or my second jacket uh, because Jojo and Jesslyn still have those, and that's something that I would really like to get back because that was literally like that's like an ancient artifact, like you know, like that's she would like, like to have her. Original I would like to jacket. have my original jacket because I earned that. And I but Penelope got has the new jacket. Oh, she does. Yeah, a lot of my stuff that was left there, um, that Penelope, had. Penelope has had, Penelope has worn. So, yeah, but I wish I could get my original jacket back, like that the one, one with your name, because that's your jacket. It that's my to jacket. You. Belongs to me. It has my name on it. Like, so that's kind of sad. I don't have that. Any spina bifida update? Um, I'm doing pretty good right now. I still struggle with my usual stuff and pains, but I've been going to physical therapy and stuff like that. Um, So right now we're pretty stable. Did you have fun at all in the group or was it all toxic, basically? I think there were some good moments, mostly just whenever I was on stage performing. Like, that's obviously my favorite part, Um, except for Mall of America whenever we were getting screamed at in our ears. But, yeah, I think that there... I mean, with friends, there were good times with Kinley and all the girls, like, and stuff like that. But a lot of it was just the bad outweighed the good, to be honest. Knowing JoJo, she probably threw your stuff away. Well, I guess we don't know. (laughs) I don't know. But I wish I could have my... I wish I could have my jacket back. Um... How was filming this show behind the scenes? It was... I don't really think... I mean, the show was pretty rough. The show was really rough. I mean, behind the scenes, like, 
if you're talking about while we're filming, like, it was always rough. Like, there's always producers in your ears. Like, this is with any reality show. Always producers in your ears talking to you, trying to work you up. Like, especially us, because we had to give them good TV and stuff. And there's always something that's being edited and stuff. But off, mo like, off set with the girls on the show, it was a lot of fun. You know, I made a lot of good friendships. Um, and there were a and, lot of really nice people that worked on the show. Yes, like the PAs and the camera it, people. It was just the producers that, like, that's their job, though. But, um, yeah, there were some good moments with my Tessa friends. And even Tessa and Dan were, were nice, but yeah. they just... They had to us. get their TV, you know? Yeah, yeah. I know you are Um Okay. No, you aren't in contact with any of the current members, but if they ever reached out, would you respond? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just nice, civil. Yeah. Send Jojo some. <laughs> Are you still friends with Kaya? Yes. We hope to see her when when, when we're, next week. Whenever I go to California, we're hoping we're hoping to see her Hopefully and Tatum we get to and Kaylee. Yes. But everybody's really busy, so we'll just have to see yeah. what we can make happen. Why did they scream at you at Mall of America? So. Oh, we have to talk about all that again. Yeah, I'm not going to say like. She oh, just wasn't happy with y'all's. Yeah, so. like I'm just not going to get into all of it again, but it was just. They just were not happy they, with the performance. Yeah, they thought all. that it wasn't good. JoJo thought it was sloppy and they didn't have enough energy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And when I'm back in Chicago, I'll be there. Let's see. Can can we not look at the you went to? They were all the same. Oh, how's Aunt Angie feeling? Hi, Lauren. Kind of headachey. Not super great. Yeah, she has an appointment on Monday um, to get more tests and stuff like that. Um, was the final audition just for the show or was it real? I think that that was real yeah 100%. it was all like it was all real we were I fighting it, for our spots the entire yeah, time yeah whenever i got my jacket i thought that i was getting sent home yeah like we, we i literally thought i was getting sent home when i got my jacket so yeah it was all real it was it was real to us it was real, real to us and the, all yeah. the kids yeah um yeah. all right we'll answer like two or three more and then we'll head out i'm Thank you for the prayers. I appreciate it. Yes. How do you, you feel about TikTok being shut down? Uh, we just, everybody Hopefully, needs to... I feel like somebody in the U.S. will buy it. It's just such a big thing. Like, I don't know how they could just let it go, but we'll see. You guys, follow me on Instagram and YouTube, um, so if it does get banned, you know, we can still stay in touch. Chill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I'm back in... Are you sad about XMG Pop? I would say... That there is a sadness that the two years of work and sweat and tears and time away from our family just came to nothing. Yeah, I would think that's that, sad. And the fact that, like, one day I was I was living my dreams. And then the next day it was just, that's this is what I thought whenever I was done. Like, I was like, mm -hmm. I was living my dreams, giving all of this work, and then it was just over. Yeah. So that was something I had to get over like it took me a while to kind of realize that like it's way for the better mm -hmm. and a lot of the stuff like it finally processed after I was out you know kind of realizing like how we were actually treated and that it wasn't like it was not normal at all it wasn't good and we're kids so mm -hmm. yes I watch young Sheldon I love young Sheldon <laughs> And we'll come back on and do, we'll, we're, I'm kind of tired, but yeah. we'll come back on and do another live that's uh, probably next week before we go to LA that yeah. has a lot, you know, some more of our like typical details and receipts. We just have to sit down and decide what yeah. um, avenue we want to go down next, Yeah, but, but we just mainly, want to touch base. Yeah, I guys. just wanted to come on here and tell you guys. Um, just to quickly refresh, like this is, I wanted to do this today and tell you guys that girl, no one's forcing me to do this. I want to completely tell my story and, you know, get it out and you guys continue to please share it. It has gotten so far and just to continue and not let it go away. And this is all a hundred percent, you know, my decision and my mom just backing me up, you know, mm -hmm. she's my number one supporter 
and you know that this this my story needs to be heard i'm a child and i spent so long working on this and yeah it's just it's, not right what it's happened not right. to you yeah exactly yeah. and so and we think that it's crazy that jojo is saying stuff about maddie and mckenzie and then she just does the same thing to us yeah it's so, so weird that's that's crazy so yeah. All right, guys. Well, we love Somebody you. Somebody said, can I buy merch to support you? You can go to Zebra, um, Creek. Zebra Creek and Leah has I have shirts, merch with them. a bubble hat, a bracelet. And then they have so sweetly there's, made a bracelet yes, that is in there's support a bracelet, of me. There's yeah. a bracelet that if you get right now, you can actually, all the funds are going to my mom's GoFundMe to pay for either her surgery or her MRIs and stuff. So, um Thank you guys so much for all of that. So you can go check out Zebra Creek too. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we are going to go eat dinner. We're going to go rest. Mm -hmm. But we love you all so much. Thank yeah. you so much for all the support. Like, we completely appreciate it. You guys, while TikTok is still here, go check out my TikTok. I just posted. So I love you all so yes, much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.